Hi, Sheila with Creative Aging. We're gonna do some more acrylic today. It's been a couple weeks since we've done acrylics. And we're gonna make some small scale little dessert paintings. And we're gonna just probably start with a cupcake or a cake. Um, just because it, it's gonna, I really want you to focus on texture and layering thick paint and, and have a contrast because we want this to look like cake so it's going to be kind of fluffy and smooth and then we want the icing to have a totally different texture. So this would be a, kind of a good practice and I know these look really easy but acrylic is not always easy so they, are, they look really simple but it will take um, a lot of time and thought and if you want, you know, of course, you you know, for people that are maybe more advanced, if you wanted to kind of add some different flair, you can, you know, you can pick your own shape and you can add a table and a plate. If you have, um, a, a, you know, a certain type of cake that you like, you know, you can do something, you know, real specific. It's up to you. All right. So there's a lot of different directions that you can go with this project. Um... But once you kind of see how we do just the cupcakes, I think it'd be easier for you to kind of do some other shapes. But yeah, we're gonna be mixing a lot of colors because obviously like one side of this is just a little more yellow and a little more white. And so those tiny little differences are gonna make, make it work. So for this project, you'll need either a small canvas. These are, just super tiny five by five canvas panels. And if you don't have anything like this, you can always use some acrylic paper, which um, I've dropped off a lot of acrylic paper to places. And if you need any more, just let me know. You can cut that down. So this doesn't even have to be five by five. This one's, you know, this one's a four by six. So you can cut it to the size that you want. I had this left over in my closet, so I'm just gonna use this little panel. But the paper works just as fine. Um, it's got the same outside, so the paint the paint's gonna look the same regardless. And so you'll need your paper or canvas. Obviously, you're gonna need your paints. And what's kind of nice about this project is you could maybe pick colors that you need to use the leftover the bottle. So figure out what you know what color you want your background. And we're gonna use one color and then we're gonna use a little bit of white. I want there to be a little bit of, just a little bit of, um, you know, see this is bright red and then there's just a little bit of white used up here in the red and then it's just a little darker down there. So I don't want it to be completely flat for the background. And so I've already got some paint ready. I'm gonna do this kind of a purple blue, um, mainly because this bottle, I love projects like this that I can use the end of a bottle. So this was almost gone. So I'm just using the rest of it so I can throw it away and get a new bottle of paint. It makes me really happy to clear out some room. So I'm gonna use this and I'll mix a little bit of the white and then I'll do a chocolate cupcake, so I will need a lighter brown and a darker brown. And you can always mix black if you wanted to just use a little bit of black and a brown, or if you wanted to use a little bit of white and one brown, you can mix your own shades. And of course you're gonna need kind of a variety of brushes. So let me get this set up to where you can kind of see it. Um, I'll set these out too, just so you can look at them while I work, if you want. All right, let's start with a big brush, and I'm gonna, just gonna do the background as of right now. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this white, and I'm gonna put some of it here, and then I'm gonna take some of this color and put it, so I'm gonna make another shade. So with this clean brush, I just want a little bit of white, and I'm gonna make a new color right here. So then just take a little bit of this and put it on top of the white and mix it up. And of course you can always add more white if you want it lighter, you can always add more of the blue. So make sure you get it the exact 
shade you like it. And then you can figure out what brush strokes you want to do for your background. You can go side to side if you want. Make sure to get the edges too. So if you want to go side to side or if you want to kind of move the brush more, it's just going to give it a little bit of movement. And you know, I'm gonna use both the, the lighter. I'm actually gonna make this a little lighter. I'm gonna make another little pile right here of paint, another color. There we go, so now I have three colors. So let's do both, I'm gonna show you both. So see, I'm gonna paint that on top. I just like the variation of colors and so if you wanted to you know play with your brush and how you want it to look I want you to do both so kind of go smooth side to side see if you like it then try kind of going maybe up and down and just doing small brush strokes and see what is more interesting for this project it's just good to start thinking about exactly how you want to use this brush every little way you use this brush is gonna matter And you don't want to do this part too thick. Because you want it to dry. I mean, unless you have a lot of time, I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes before I start with the cupcake. Make sure to get the edges. If this hangs on the wall, you will see the edges. So just go along the sides while you have your brush and you have paint still. Okay, let me hold this up for you so you can see the but I did a little bit better. And if you decide you don't like that, that's maybe too much movement, you could see this is the side to side, more of a smooth. So say you decide you don't like that, that's too much. It's still wet, so you can change it. Maybe I'll do, I'll pretend like this is kind of a table, so I'll do this darker. So down here, I'll just go back and forth. And I could even leave part of the texture at the top, like maybe that's the wall and then this is a table. So I just want you to play. I really want you to figure out exactly what you like. You don't have to do it the same. I just want you to use a few of these techniques and figure out your own style that you think is attractive. And so let's look at this. And then say you still don't like that. Let's just let's just get the lighter again. And I'm gonna maybe I want it all smooth. I'm gonna do right here, make it a little more smooth. Okay. Okay, so look at it again. Decide if you like that. Now I'm gonna leave it this way. I just wanted to show you a few different options. And so I'm going to let this dry, um, and then 
we will start with the cupcake and just give it about 10 minutes, let it dry. I just picked this up a few times, so I'm gonna go wash my hands before I start with the cupcake. Okay, so it's dried a little bit. And now we need to get some smaller brushes. So go ahead and just have an assortment. Um, I like to have one with a good flat edge for when we do the cupcake shape. Um, it'll be easier to get the sides of it. And while it was drying, if you wanted to practice drawing a, you know, your cupcake, that's easier. Um, that's completely up to you. Because, you know, we can, acrylic paint, you can always paint over mistakes. So you already have your, you know, if you're going to do a chocolate cupcake, you'll have um, dark brown, kind of a warmer brown, and then the white. So let me show you this one again. And then whatever color icing, you know, if I just wanted some white icing. If you want red velvet, kind of the same thing. You'll want um, kind of a burgundy and then you can mix the burgundy with a little bit of white. And just you just want a little bit of light and a little bit of dark. And then that's kind of like a cream cheese icing. So that's a, that's a, a white with just a hint of yellow, tiny bit. So think about what kind of cake and what kind of icing you're gonna do and that will help you choose your colors. But you do want one, like you can see on this one really well, See the cake is the dark brown and then the icing is just the lighter brown with a little bit of white mixed into it. So just think about what kind of cake you wanna do and you want one lighter and one darker version. So after you have your background, then we're going to kind of draw our cupcake. And so take your brush that has like maybe a flat edge and you know, you can start with the, let's start with the lighter brown. And I'm even gonna go ahead while this brush is clean and I'm gonna take a little bit of that white and I'm gonna move it over and I'm gonna make another brown. So it's good to just have these already made up just so you'll have more options while you're painting. So I'll take brown, a little bit of brown and I'm gonna mix it into that white. And you can always make more later, but that just gives you one extra bit of color. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, my middle brown and figure out where you want it placed. If this is kind of like, you know, that line could be kind of like a table. And so I have the cupcake right in the center. and go down and remember it's gonna, just think of a cupcake shape. If you need to go online and look at pictures, please do so. I definitely like to use pictures as some, uh, oh sorry, I'm so blank, I can't think of the word. Reference point. Yeah, I definitely use pictures as a reference point. Sorry I was focusing on my cupcake. <laughs> And right now I'm just focusing on the shape. I'm not really worried about the paint techniques that I'm doing yet. I just wanna get this shape on my canvas. And if some of your paint is not dry, like right there, it's not all the way dry, it's okay, because we're gonna do another coat of color and it's gonna be covered up. We're gonna wait to do the icing very last. So just focus on the cake part. And I want my edges to be really dark. So I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna get a small brush. And I'm gonna go this real dark right here, this dark brown. And I'm gonna go around my edges 
<clears throat> with the darkest. And this will also give it texture. So you want it to look like it's got, you know, the wrapping around it. So we're gonna start doing some lines. So let me go over here and outline this part and then I'm gonna do the bottom. But this is where I don't, I'm using pretty thick paint. See how I'm dipping it? And I'm leaving the tip of this point brush kind of a glob of paint. So then it's automatically gonna give it some texture like it's got cupcake wrapping around it. And then let's go in and go ahead and start adding some lines. And while this paint is wet, it's nice because you just draw into it and it's automatically going to add a lot of texture. If you do this when it's dry, it's not gonna work quite as well. And as you notice, I'm not using any water. I'm pretty much using a dry brush because I want my paint to be really thick. Sometimes you would use water to rinse your brush out in between, but it just depends on the project. And I'm even gonna use some white, I think. Let me hold this up. I know it's um, the lighting is sometimes hard to see up close. So let me hold this up and show you what's happening so far. Hopefully you can see there's a little bit of light and a little bit of dark, but you can see the texture for sure. So this is just the start of it. And then we'll do the same thing. I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna use some white because while this brown is already uh, drying, it's just gonna blend in. And so maybe there'll be more light at the top. So at the top of the wrapper, there might be a little bit more like highlights. So go on in there and start adding some white and drag it down. And you don't have to go all the way down this time. So see each time I'm dipping it in the white, and of course, if it gets too white, you can go over it again. Because eventually, if you keep going over this, it's just going to blend right into the brown. The brown is, is so dark. So that's why I'm re-dipping it, and then I'm going to the top. And I'm using white, and then just bringing it down. But if you keep going over, it's just going to blend right in. So you kind of want to do a one stroke and then move to the next. Now sometimes if it gets too white, we'll just go over it again. That's fine. And don't worry about straight lines. Um, I know every, a lot of people worry that their hands shake and they want their lines to be straight. And honestly, if these lines aren't straight, it's just gonna be more interesting probably. So just don't make that a focus. And then, so keep doing that until you really like the texture, you like the lights and the darks. It's gonna take some practice. And so if there's any parts that got too white, you just take your brush and kind of drag over it again. So I'm gonna try to use a dry brush. Okay, so this is the same point brush. So if I don't like that right there, I can just break it up a little bit if it's too much. Obviously, this is preference, so you might like it with a lot of white, and you might like it not. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the brown, the darkest brown, and I wanna go to the I wanna go to the bottom and I'm gonna do stripes up. Because I want the, the top to have light and I want the bottom to be the darkest, because that'd probably be where it's shadowed. 
You know, if you're if these cupcakes are sitting in a room and the lights are on the ceiling, the top of it's going to have a little more highlights and the bottom is going to be darker. So let's go ahead and do the same thing we just did, but we're going to add stripes with the darkest going up. And these things are, this is very subtle, but it's going to make a difference and make them look a little bit more interesting and realistic. So it's amazing how much of a difference this type of stuff will make, but you while you're doing it, it's not very noticeable, but in the end, it will be. And if you want to add black, if you want it that dark, you can do that. So I'm going, see how I'm going just from the bottom and I'm going straight up. And this is going to keep adding to the texture. And Right now, if you need to hold it away from your face to make sure your shape is good, you might need to do that. Like I'm looking at it right now and I need to fix something. So I'm kind of painting crooked here for the film. So I'm gonna fix one thing, there we go. So this is where you might need to fix your shape a little bit. And then, so I just fixed the edge. I'm gonna go back in with white and do the top again because I lost that detail right there. Okay, so now we need to make the cake part and we're going to make that dark the darkest so take your you can continue using this round brush i like to i don't know if you can see so see how i'm spinning it i want it to get a good point and so i'm going to spin it and then i'm going to use brush i'm going to get the brush right on the tip of it and this time i kind of want a dot i want this part to look fluffy i want it to be different than the actual cupcake so i'm going to make it Maybe make it over to where it goes over the edge. So this part is the cake, so it needs to look different than the wrapper. So just little dots. And this will also automatically fix your line that you did at the top. So see, your straight line doesn't even matter now because it can be covered up with your dotting. Okay, so that's already looking like a cake. And now um, you're gonna figure out your icing. So of course, you know, this is probably gonna take you a little longer, so just keep working on it until it starts coming together. But make sure you wanna have lights. You wanna see some lights at the top and you want it to look like a wrapper around your cupcake or you know, you, you, I guess you don't have to do that, but it's just, it's gonna make it easier to have this texture and the um, contrast. And then the, the darks at the bottom, and then you want the, this part to look kind of fluffy. And then we're gonna do the icing. And of course, you can think of what color, you know, whatever color icing you wanna do. Um, you can just do white. If you want to do strawberry, you can do strawberry and kind of do a light pink. Like if I wanted to do that, I could maybe, you know, this color, add a little white. If I wanted a strawberry icing on top of chocolate, you know, I'd, I'd like for you just to do your favorite. So whatever, whatever kind of a cake person you are, make sure, you know, do it that because you're going to hang it in your kitchen, maybe. <laughs> Or you're gonna put it in your art drawer, I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna use this white. Some of the white got a little color in it. So I'm gonna make a new little, a new little airy 
area for my white. That way I'm not wasting paint. I just wanted, I don't want it to get accidentally get color in it, so I'm just cleaning it up, and then I'll probably get some more. And like I said, if you do want it to have um, a hint of kind of, you know, if you want it to look thicker or you want it to look like cream cheese icing, just use the, the slightest bit of yellow and you just mix it in that white. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit more. Now this part's fun. And I know I've got a collection of little dirty brushes here. I will wash those thoroughly here in a minute. Um, if you are at, at you know, at the at your facility or at home, you might want to have a cup of water because you don't want the paint to dry on these brushes. I'm working so fast that I can probably just leave them and then wash them in a minute. But I'm hoping you guys take your time and you really play with this. So I'm hoping it takes about an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. So you might want to have a cup of water to put all of the, the brushes in to keep them wet because if it dries it can ruin the brush and so please take care of the brushes and uh, just activities directors have a cup of water and while they're done with the big brush just kind of clean it up and put those in water and then maybe switch sizes so we kind of you know we start with the big brush and then we do a point brush and then for this part it doesn't matter really uh, we're going to just layer it on really thick and this is fun because i want you to think about how you would really ice a cake anyways so use your brush almost like a knife and you want to use some thick. You can use it thick. So pretend like this is icing, for real icing, and go ahead and start icing your cake. So see how thick that is? And then you get more. And however, you know, if you're gonna ice a cake, you know you might have a certain direction. You might wanna point to the top. And of course, it's gonna be up to you if you want sprinkles or a little chocolate bits or whatever. And you could always go over this again. You may not need to, but just make sure you like the shape that it's, you know, the. You want it to look like really good icing, like thick, delicious icing. And so, I mean, I'm, I've got a lot of, I'm using tons of paint on this brush. And then I'm really just moving it around like it's like a, a knife, like I'm really gonna ice a cake. And go right on top of where the cake was. And of course, you know, you can make it as much or as little icing as you want. And I'll tell you, I made this icing too wide, so I'm going to fix that here in a minute. So see, I'm just continuing playing with, I don't want the background to show, so any place where I see a background, I'm moving the icing to make it thicker. So I have so much on here now, at this point, I can just move it around. That looks good. And obviously on this side, see how big it went on the, on the side? I want my cake to go out a little bit more now because um, the icing has nowhere to sit on. So I need more cake that would be over there. So I'm going to use my point brush again. I'm going to use my darkest, darkest brown. And I'm just gonna tap right there, make it look like the cake is over on that side. And I'm going to even drag it down. I'm gonna do the same thing and make it just a little bigger. 
If you can tell, I'm one of those people that loves icing. That's my favorite part, so it makes sense that I would just do tons of icing. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make my whole cake bigger. So now that I did that, I'm gonna add more white to the top. So I'm kind of doing the, the same process again. Because we're painting thick, this paint is gonna be wet for a while. So just be careful because it's all gonna blend together and you, you can lose some details. So I'm using a lot of paint just because then it's not gonna blend in. And we don't use a lot of thick paint very often, so this is a good project to practice. Okay, and now, you know, if you wanted to add some little chocolate chocolate chunks in the icing you can I am not going to I like icing just plain myself so let me hold this up so you can really see it up close all right we've got our cupcake and I know that a lot of those you know this color is not that not that much lighter than this one but it just adds a little bit of something so even though you just add a little bit of white to your background, it is going to make a difference and kind of give the illusion that maybe there's a table and then there's a wall. Um, and then, you know, the lights and the darks of the browns, it's going to make a huge difference. Same with this red velvet one. You have to have that contrast or these can look pretty cheesy really fast. Since it is a simple project and we're working small, you almost have to use more detail. Okay, and, and take a look at the icing. So see how thick I layered that? I wanted it to look really creamy, really. So it's kind of almost shiny too because it's so thick. But okay, there you go. You can see, you can see the texture differences. So um, how I used, how I did my brush strokes for the wrapper and the dotting for the cake and then how I laid the icing, you know, it's all different. So anyways, please um, have fun with this. You know, play with the brushes, play with the colors, just mix a lot of different colors and just see what you think. And remember, if you don't like it with acrylic, you can always paint over it. So, you know, just, just try to play and this is a good learning activity. And hopefully you end up liking it, maybe wanna hang it somewhere in your kitchen. It's always cute and happy to have little dessert paintings. And next, the next week, I think we're going to start some fall projects. So we might do something fun since I think the weather is going to be cooler. And we'll, uh, we'll celebrate fall. All right. See you soon. Thanks.